Is it lawful to pay the census tax to Caesar or not? This was a trick question asked of Jesus by his enemies. I'm always fascinated with court scenes where there is a lawyer asking witnesses questions. There was this particular exchange between a lawyer and an examiner. The lawyer asked, Doctor, before you performed the autopsy, did you check for a pulse? Answer, no. Lawyer, did you check for blood pressure or breathing? Answer, no. Lawyer, so then it is possible that the patient was alive when you began the autopsy? Answer, no. Lawyer, how can you be so sure, doctor? Answer, because his brain was sitting on my desk in a jar. Lawyer, but could the patient have still been alive nevertheless? Answer, it is possible that he could have been alive and practicing law somewhere. On the final week of his stay in Jerusalem before his crucifixion, Jesus was the target of some questioning by both Pharisees and Herodians. The Pharisees hated the Romans while the Herodians were supporters of the Romans. They have what we call an unholy alliance. They follow the old adage, my enemy's enemy is my friend. If Jesus said don't pay taxes, he will be arrested by the Romans. If he said pay taxes, he will lose the popularity and the support of the people who have followed him and have started to believe. But he showed cunning and wisdom, outwitting them by saying, repay to Caesar what belongs to Caesar, and to God what belongs to God. David Dykes, an author and preacher, says that our responsibility to government should be to pray, to pay, and to obey. Pray. Do you pray for your government leaders? In my daily prayers, I always pray to God that our government leaders, especially the president and the vice president, be given the graces of humility and honesty, integrity and incorruptibility, wisdom and intelligence, love for our country, and passion for excellence, and respect especially for life. They need all our prayers because they can be blinded by all the power, fame, and possibly riches that they can get during their terms. Pay. Do you pay the right taxes? For us employed, it's easy to pay taxes because they are withheld by our company. For the professionals and entrepreneurs in some countries, there are ways to avoid paying taxes and the temptation to do so is always great. We always have an excuse not to pay taxes. Something like, my government is so corrupt, so why do I need to give them my money? The politicians will just stash it away. That's why Jesus referred to those who are falsely adoring him as hypocrites, because as the meaning of the word suggests, they act differently from their moral beliefs. Social media is full of bashing and bullying, not just to government, but among each other. Jesus calls us hypocrites because instead of looking at the positive side of things, or doing constructive and respectful criticism, we resort to hurtful name-calling, cursing, and trash language. We can be unmindful that we too are sinners. Recall Matthew chapter 7, verse 3. Why do you see the speck in your neighbor's eye, but do not notice the log in your own eye? I suggest that we keep quiet if we have nothing positive or nice to say, but we can also go to the person concerned and say our comments and suggestions. Obey. Apart from paying the right taxes, do we follow the rules and regulations that are imposed on us for our own safety and well-being? This pandemic is a classic case. We are asked to wear a mask before we go out of our homes, maintain social distancing, and do frequent thorough washing of our hands. More importantly, we are asked not to go out of our homes unless needed to avoid infection. Let us pray. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Heavenly Father, grant me the graces I need to enable me to practice what I preach in all areas of my life. Let me give to government what is due them, and let me give to you what you truly deserve, my love and my obedience. All these I pray in Jesus' holy and mighty name. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless your families, brothers and sisters. God bless our Catholic faith and couples for Christ.